I'm going to walk you through how to vibe code a Mac application from zero to launch. Here's my application that I just launched. And in this video, we're going to go over several parts and all the details of actually launching an app from writing a PRD product requirement document to setting up Xcode to actually coding. I'll show you how I debug it to finally using AI to generate all the metadata, like the screenshots and the description, all the things you need and actually getting it submitted and launching on App Store. But before diving into how to do it, let me quickly demo what the app does. It's a simple Mac application that analyzes your Apple health data. You can export all your data, and once you've exported it, you just browse for the file, open it. You can analyze your steps, your distance, your weight, click start analysis, give it a second, and then it will show you some charts and tables of all your health data over the years. And then you can also send it to AI and you can analyze it locally on your Olama, or you can send it to open router and call any LLM model. And I did this in about three days and I'll teach you how in this video. I'm going to vibe code a Mac application to analyze your Apple health data. So I already have an open source project that has over 201 stars and it's gaining a lot of momentum. I haven't updated in a while and still is getting a lot of stars. And on Reddit, I have over 201 likes. The reason I want to come back to this is that people are still using it, even though I'm not really maintaining it. Two days ago, people asked me to fix some issues. So there's some traction there. How do I turn this Python code that analyzes your Apple health export XML file and turn it into charts from a Python script that you need to run with Docker and it's really complicated into a simple to use Mac application. So I've never made a Mac app before, so this is how I would do it. I would start with making a product requirement document and then create a framework using Xcode and then code the app and then submit to the app store. So that's what I'm planning to do. Okay, so I'm going to be using Claude code and see what I can do. All right, first thing, I need to make a product requirement document. And since I already have a project, I'm just gonna ask Claude code to come up with a product requirement based on my existing code base. So basically I wanna create a Mac application based on this code. Can you create a product requirement document because it's calls AI, I don't wanna pay for your AI call. So people have to input their own API key. Let's see what it does. Okay, then it's working as magic. Okay, so it's finished. I've opened a new folder called Mac app and inside I have a PRD. Let's take a look at the PRD. Let's see if it's any good. And transform da, 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 into a Oh, it's got some success metrics, functional requirements. Da -da 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 -da. It's got a pretty good PRD. Let's give it a try. I'll open a new terminal. I have a folder inside Xcode. I need to create a new project. And I'm creating a Mac OS app. Apple Health Analyzer created on the desktop. Okay, so what have I done? I've asked AI to create a product requirement document based on a description of what I want to build. I said I want to take this Mac application code and then turn it into a PRD. The more context you can give AI, the better it can generate a PRD and it create a file like this one. You have to copy it and create it and save it as a .md file, which means markdown and it's just easier for the computer to understand. It should have the vision, mission statement, business requirements, and then once you have it, Xcode has saved it into a file called Apple Health Analyzer. I click into it, and then I click into the folder with all the Swift files, and then I just drag and drop my MD file into it, so then when I'm coding, it can reference this MD file. So 
I go into the folder and then I get claw to open up. Yes. Create a Mac app to analyze Apple data based on I have a PRD, Mac app PRD. And let's see it work its magic. Oh, it breaks it up into a to-do list and then it goes from there. Quite impressive. And this should take a while. So let's see if I use up all my credits. All right, the code is apparently ready. So let's open next code and see if it runs the moment of truth. Build succeeded, that's a good sign. Oh, well, let's drag some data in there. And my data is here. File is too large. No, this is bad. This is bad. I need to fix this. The file I have is close to a gig. So the reason I want to make a Mac app is because having a web app is impossible. Apple exports can be four or five gigs if you use it a lot. So it's just going to be impossible to upload. So having a locally hosted app makes perfect sense. Let's see if I can make it work. Okay, I seem to have fixed the problem with having too big a file, but now that I uploaded the file, it's showing me this infinite rainbow. I'm going to give it a minute and see if this is an issue, but I need to improve this because it looks like it's crashed. Okay, so let's try it again because it was showing me the infinite load and now it's fixed. Let's see what this does. Let's drop in my large file, 979 megabytes, analyze data. What is the progress bar? I don't see no progress bar. Do I need to, okay, maybe I need to restart the thing. Let's clean the project. Clean, run it again, and see if it's better. Drop the file. I'm getting an error. So finally, it's showing some progress bar and then I need to wait for this to complete before I can analyze it. My original file was in Python and it processed the data really fast, but now I'm using Swift because I don't want the user to install a bunch of Python stuff, but it's taking forever. So I'm asking AI to make the code more efficient. All right, so I've made some progress and the app actually works now. Now, the problem was it was only using Swift code to analyze the data and it's like up one gigabyte of data and it's really slow. So I needed to add in a Python kit library and using Python paired with Swift code is able to actually analyze the data. But this is faster, but still, takes about five, 10 minutes, which is unacceptable. So I'm asking Claude code to improve the speed. Let's see where we go from there. Let's give it a test right now. Let's go to Xcode, clean the build and build it. Now it's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but Let's give it a shot and let's drop in our file. Analyze data, 15%. Okay, this is actually slower than the previous build, so I need to figure out why. The app is working now, but it looks terrible. The user interface is no good. I asked Claude Code to act as a senior Apple UI designer and redesign the user interface. 
All right, so the UI is supposed to be better. Let's check it out. Oh, it does look better. Let's see if it supports drag and drop. It does. Sick. Wait, hold on. Whoa, this is so much better. It's day two of me working on the app and it's coming together so I can do a new analysis. I can view previous data. I've added like a timeline here so it makes more sense. Heart rate, distance, there's AI analysis. You can use open router, choose your model, or you can use Olama, have a local model. It all works now. And there's a good settings with contact me version. The app is almost ready. I just want to submit it before I add too many features. One of the things I need is an app icon because it has no icon here. Okay, I'm going to generate a Mac app icon using Canva. So I'm using app icon creator. Okay, so I need to create different sizes for my app icon. So I'm going to use warp. And what I'm going to do is take my icon, drop it into warp. Okay. And I've asked it to create different sizes for me. And it's doing that. So let's check back when it's done. All right, so it's done. So what I need to do is copy all these icon files, drop it in, boom. And I like their icon. It's kind of cute. And there you have it. So I just built it and it looks all right. It needs some rounded corners, but it's close. So now let's try to go to App Store and submit it. I come here, create a new app, Mac. Let's call it health kit. Is that the name? It needs to have a good name. Let me come up with a good name with AI. Health insights analyze health health kit AI analyzer. Okay, let's just use that. All right, I'm just uploading the screenshots. I'm using Canva and I just created my own screenshots, just open the app up, take screenshots, upload to Canva. And I need some promotional text description, keywords, support URL, all that fun stuff. And how do I do that? Well, it's really easy. I'm just gonna ask Claude to generate it for me. So I don't have to write it myself. The results here are pretty good, let's say. Transform your Apple Health data into beautiful da -da -da -da. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Okay, so I need a privacy policy and also a support URL. So I asked GPT to generate the support email for me. And I happen to have a WordPress site, so I just copy and paste, edit it a little bit. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. Let's publish the page. So I have the URL. Just copy into this support, save. And I need an app review notes. Okay, let's generate that. After a whole bunch of clicking around and ticking a lot of boxes, I finally have it ready. I'm going to Press the magical submit to app review button. And it's been submitted. This is day five and my app has been approved. You can see it on App Store. You can download it to check it out in the links below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to vibe code your own app with guidance from me so you can make some money online, I have a 14 day Vibe Coding Mastery class where I take you from zero to launch with help from me. I will personally help you make sure you can vibe code your dream app. Sign up below.